If you ever wondered if it's possible to upgrade an old Mac Pro 5.1 to have USB-C functionality, and more importantly, would it work at high speed with something like Samsung's T5 external SSD drive? Stay tuned, we'll find out. So I recently picked up the Samsung T5 external SSD for video editing with my MacBook Pro. I was so impressed with the drive speed on this. It got me to thinking that it would be great if I could upgrade my old Mac Pro 5.1 to USB-C. I chose the Sonnet Allegro USB-C PCIe card, which works absolutely perfectly out of the box with the Mac Pro 5.1. It gives 15 watts and 3 amps of power per port, and it gives you two Type-C USB 3.1 ports. I'm keen to see if my old Mac Pro 5.1 can read and write to this external SSD as fast as my MacBook Pro can. And I'm going to test it on a Type-C port, but also I'm going to test it on my USB 3 expansion card, which has a Type-A uh, connection. Fortunately, Samsung provide both types of cables, so we can test the speed on both and see what it's like. My Mac Pro is a 2010 model that's been refurbished and upgraded. It's got some marks on the case, but inside it's healthy. Uh, we've got two 6-core Xeons running at 3.33 gigahertz, so a total of 12 cores in the system, 64 gigs of RAM. We've got a Titan X graphics card, uh, which is absolutely superb. I've got SSDs and other drives. Now my internal SSDs are connected via the SATA port at the moment, so I'm going to speed test those as well and just see how they compare to an external SSD. You'd hope that the internal SSD would be faster. So let's get into the speed test. First of all, let's test the SSD drive over USB 3 using the Type-A connector. So we've got about 350 megabytes per second on write and about 340 megabytes per second on read. I think those are great results over USB 3. Now for the main test, let's see how fast it goes over Type-C using the Sonnet Allegro card. As you can see, we're getting much stronger results. Uh, 480 megabytes per second on write and 506 megabytes per second on read. Uh, clearly the Sonnet Allegro card is a, is a great piece of kit. I like the way it looks. I like the way they finish the back of it so it uh, is in keeping with your Mac Pro. And I plugged it in, it just works. There's no issues with it and the speed results are absolutely phenomenal. So this got me thinking that I should actually test the speed of my internal SSDs in my Mac Pro. So I've got um, two 500 gigabyte SSDs, they're Western Digital drives, nothing particularly special, and they're connected via SATA. Uh, one of them I use for Windows in Boot Camp, and the other one runs my Mac OS system. And the reality is that they are much slower than these external drives. I'm getting about 230 megabytes a second read and write times on these internal drives, which is really poor. And has actually got me thinking that I need to do something about that to speed up the system. So do I think it's worth upgrading a Mac Pro 5.1 with a USB-C card like the Sonnet Allegro? Absolutely, I think the figures show that it's well worth doing. Uh, it's given my Mac Pro a new lease of life. Even though there's eight years age difference between that and my MacBook Pro current generation, um, I'm now able to work seamlessly between the two machines on things like video editing or any projects where I need fast storage. I really like these Samsung T5 external SSDs. Uh, I paid about £140 for this 500 gigabyte model uh, and then I went and bought another one because I was so pleased with it. It's nicely finished in aluminium, uh, just a single type C slot on it, plug it straight into the computer, great performance out of the box. What more do you want? So I hope you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, please consider subscribing, most of all thanks for watching.